let us look at uh, how to integrate this function, uh, which is uh, integrate sine uh, raised to 5x dx. So whenever you have a function like this, you have to look for a u substitution. So here, if you directly take, uh, say, sine x as u, that will not help because that will differentiate to cos x. So directly you can't do a u substitution here. So I'm going to do the next step like this. So this is nothing but integration of sine raised to 4x times sine x dx. So sine raised to 5x, I have written as sine raised to 4x times sine x. Okay, now uh, I hope you know the identity of sine squared plus cos squared is 1. That's one of the most uh, basic identities. Sine squared plus cos squared x is equal to 1, which implies I can write sine squared x as sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. Okay. So here, I'm going to write the next step, this changing color. So this is integration of sine raised to 4. Can I write like this, sine squared x, the whole squared, times sine x dx. Okay, I hope you can see where am I going. So this is nothing but integration of sine squared. I'm going to write as 1 minus cos squared x, the whole squared, times sine x dx. Okay, now, <laughs> at times, uh, there is no intuition of what I'm doing here, but slowly you will get to see or appreciate what I'm doing. Now, I can see a sine x dx here, and I got a, I can see a cos here, of course it's a cos squared. So now cos differentiates to sine, so a good substitution would be, so let me change color, so let u is equal to cos x. So when you're doing a u substitution, everything has to change in terms of u. So this implies du by dx is equal to negative sine x. Sine differentiates to negative sine, which implies negative du is sine x dx. So in place of sine x dx, I can write uh, minus du. And in place of cos x, I can write u. So the whole thing now changes to integration of 1 minus u squared, the whole squared, times minus du. This whole thing has changed to minus du. So now this has become very simple. So this is, you can factor out or you can take the minus out. This is nothing but 1 minus 2u squared times sorry plus u to the power of 4 du okay now you can individually differentiate each of them so which is nothing but uh, one one integrates to uh, one integrates to u so i'll put a minus out so that is u minus 2 u cube over u plus u to the power of 5 over phi plus the constant of integration. Now if you put the, if you expand with this minus, this becomes uh, 2, sorry, I should have written 2, uh, 2u cube over 3 here. Okay, so now if you open with minus, so you get 2, 2u cube over 3, uh, minus minus u to the power of 5 over 5 minus u plus c. And now you can substitute the value of u, u which is cos x. So it differentiates, so sorry, integrates to 2 cos cube x over 3 minus cos to the 5, 
5 x over 5 minus cos x plus c. Now you keep wondering how can this be the integration of this function. Okay, sine integrates or sine to the power 5 integrates to this answer. So it's a good practice. I like to check whether my answer is right by if I differentiate this. So what I'm saying is if you integrate this and if you get this answer, uh, if you differentiate this function, you should get this back. So let me check. So it's also a good practice for you, those who are learning calculus of integration and differentiation in one example. So I'm going to find d by dx of this function, that is 2 third. I'm going to write this as cos x cubed minus one-fifth times cos x to the power of y minus cos x plus c. Okay, now when you're doing differentiation, you have to always differentiate the inside and then the outside, or outside and then the inside. So being to be on the safe side, it's always good to differentiate the inside. So cos differentiates to minus sine x, and then you differentiate the outside, so that's, you can treat this as a power function, so this is 3 times cos squared x minus, so this, now cos differentiates to sine, so this, sorry, minus sine, so this minus will become plus, so it'll one fifth sine x times uh, sine to the sorry, 1 times phi cos to the power cos to the power 4x and cos differentiates to negative sine, so this will be plus sine x. Okay. this And the constant c differentiates to 0. So let me go up. So what will happen now? So you can cancel this 3 with this 3 and this 5 with this 5. So what has remained? You've got uh, this minus 2 sine x, minus 2 sine x. Now cos squared I'm going to directly write as 1 minus sine squared x uh, plus 5. Sorry, 5 has been cancelled. So you've got sine x times cos to the power of 4x is nothing but 1 minus uh, sine squared x, 1 minus sine squared x, which is cos squared x, the whole squared, plus sine x. So this is a huge expansion, not that huge. So this is minus 2 sine x plus 2 sine squared x plus sine x times, let us expand this, so this is 1 minus 2 sine squared x plus sine raised to 4x plus sine x. Okay, so expanding still further, this is minus 2 sine x plus 2 sine squared x plus sine x minus 2 sine cube x. Uh, here I have done a mistake here. So this should be 2 sine cube x. Yeah, so this is minus 2 sine cube x plus sine to the power 5x plus sine x. Okay, so you've got a sine x. You've got a sine x sine x and minus sine x gets cancelled. Okay, so I'll use a different color. You can cancel this with uh, this. Of course, I have to change this into sine cube x. Okay, this is the same. So this will get cancelled. This and this gets cancelled. So what has remained? What has remained is nothing but sine raised to 5x. 
so we are confident that the answer is perfect there's nothing wrong in it I will do this question in the next video I would uh, like you to look at this this question and probably a related question with that uh, so I want to integrate 10x and also integrate sorry integrate the next question so tan cube x dx see you in the next video